Ciao everyone, um, just started the channel, wanted to share some tech and some project that I'm working on it in the coming month, but today I wanted to share my unboxing of the new MacBook uh, uh, Pro Max 16 inches. This is the 1 terabyte hard drive, 64 gigabyte RAM. Uh, so, for most people, uh, 64 gigabyte RAM is an overkill. Uh, but um, I'm an engineer, so I do a lot of uh, development and uh, coding. Um, I deal with uh, multiple operating system. Uh, at the same time, I do C++. Development of Python, um, dealing with uh, Linux kernel, uh, development of Ros Raspberry Pi, uh, and a bunch of other things. Uh, 3D modeling too, for 3D printing. So I learned a long time ago that um, you need when you buy uh, computers, you need to do future proof them for at least. Um, two, three, four, or five years. Um, so, before this guy, I still have it. Now it's backing up. Uh, the, I had a MacBook Pro uh, 15 inches, uh, and I bought it that in 2012, late 2012, so it's a mid-2012 uh, Retina display. Uh, that one has a 16 gigabyte RAM and uh, 500 gig of hard drive and the uh, graphic card I think is 1.5 gigabyte or something like that so it's i7 I think um, so I bought that one long time ago almost 10 years ago and then I wanted to upgrade it several years later three or four Four years later, uh, because it w was starting to be not enough for what I do, and the whole issue with keyboards and screen, and then the touch bar, and then the lack of uh, um, uh, ports uh, with Macs, uh, um, I delayed uh, my purchase. And in the meantime, I got a workstation server which is beside me and that guy, this guy is running an Akintosh and it's a dual Xeon 20 cores 128 gigabyte of RAM and a bunch of uh, hard drives for backing up and so this will become a server with uh, for backing up all the data with a ZFS uh, uh, file system and will run virtualization with different operating system and a bunch of other stuff. So, I'm a special case, I guess, compared to most of the people online that I see online with videos, that are, most of them are videographer, photographer, some developers, of course, uh, but I guess I'm, I'm an, um, let's say, uh, most of the unique cases where I really need the computer to do a lot of stuff at the same time. So this is my unboxing. I got this MacBook uh, at the end of November. Now it's the end of January, so it took two months to get it. Quite a long time. I guess Christmas was in between, so. And maybe if the 64 gigabyte is not that common to order. So let me unboxing. This is like a long time I had unboxed a MacBook. So the Let's see. I will just uh, show the MacBook and maybe later I will compare with my my um, my 2012 MacBook Pro. Uh, I won't show turning on all that stuff because there are plenty of videos. It's not really interesting, but it's always cool to ah. Uh, Take out a new computer. Okay, the box is always cool. Mac, uh, Apple always 
does a good job on this. Oh, I thought the box was uh, this pretty uh, thick size. So the box looks like a more a wood box than a carton box, a carton box, a paper box, whatever. So it's pretty cool. We change a bunch of stuff. Okay. So this is the laptop. Oh wow, it's heavy. Yeah. Yeah, everybody says it's pretty heavy. Uh, yeah, it's pretty heavy. So let me put it down this guy. And of course, the magnet safe is back. Wow, incredible. They, it took so long to do this. You know, the, then I'll, I'll show you later on on the other Mac, the Mac is safe, it's there. So there was no problem with that. So put it on the side. Some cards, I think there will be a sticker here. Uh, literature. Uh, yeah. Sure. Some stickers. Which I really don't care much. Here, they are black. Okay, good for me, whatever. And then the the charging. Okay. European. To get it right. Okay. Well, oh. nothing, nothing special here too. So let me put away the box. And. Remove the paper here. So I got the dark space gray. Okay. So the ports are there. Mega safe. Two USB-C. Oh, Thunderbolt. I think. Three, three point five here. Uh, memory card reader, HDMI, and another uh, USB-C, I think of Thunderbolt. Uh, I have to figure out which one is uh, Thunderbolt 4 and stuff. Um, what else? I really bought... Everybody say, oh no, you don't need dongles. Well, actually you do, because if you want to connect to Ethernet, instead of Wi-Fi, you need a dongle. And this one... Uh, or at least I'm waiting for a, a Thunderbolt 4 uh, hub. I'll get here in a week and I'll do a video on that because that one is going to be interesting. It's Thunderbolt 4 hub with the NVMe uh, PCIe 4. So I'll do some testing with that. Um, and um, that's it for now. I'm going to uh, just showcase uh, uh, with the dif the difference between this guy and the MacBook uh, from 2012. It's going to be uh, interesting to see the differences. Uh, okay, just a second, and I'll be back. Okay, so put the two uh, Mac side by side. This is a 2012 MacBook Pro and this is the uh, MacBook uh, Pro Max. So uh, basically are the same size. Uh, if I put it on the same and this is basically yeah it's the same size. Actually, the the uh, 2012 is like um, half a centimeter uh, larger. As you can see here, right here. But the interesting part is that are ports. So if you can see here, um, so SD cards. Here we have the HDMI on the 2012 Max is right here 
and then here there is a USB and this Thunderbolt right and from the back nothing much to see in the back and then on the other side right here mega safe on 2012 right here on the max and then here there are two Thunderbolt I think uh, one then a USB and then the phone jack here instead there are two Thunderbolt and the phone jack so uh, seems like uh, they, they took the older older uh, MacBook uh, version you know and just upgraded the the ports right like I said it's right there so between 2012 and 2022 or 21 actually um, for me since I didn't buy a MacBook in between it didn't change much uh, so I didn't go through the all no thunder, no mega safe uh, issues and all that kind of stuff. And then the touch bar and the keyboard uh, that was not uh, was not good. And so let's say I I skipped the headaches. <laughs> so I already um, installed all the software that I have on my workstation on the. MacBook Max. Um, I have to just update some software like uh, Resolve da, da Vinci Resolve and a uh, few other things that are uh, dedicated to the M1 uh, chip. Uh, the migration was a uh, kind of a pain because um, my workstation is connected via Ethernet. I try to connect this guy via Ethernet too to do. Uh, really fast and they were attached to the same hub but somehow this got stuck to the Wi-Fi and so it took f like f six hours to do the transfer instead of that much less I don't know why it didn't pick up the Ethernet I had the dongle uh, this guy I had this guy attached is a 2.5 gigabit uh, well the hub is 1 gigabit so it doesn't matter but it didn't, it didn't pick up the Ethernet and I had to go through Wi-Fi, which was a pain. Um, so, and I already did some few tests and uh, cut in half uh, most of the compounding stuff, uh, the time, so which is really good. And saving time is always good. <coughs> so, to repeat, um, I'm a... Uh, <coughs> use case uh, the, let's say an extreme or you not unique but uh, a much more uh, unique let's say user case because uh, 64 gigabyte for the max is for 95 percent of the people 90 percent of the people is an overkill I think the 32 or even the 16 is is a, uh, good enough for most of people um, and um, uh, I don't understand the, the issue that they have, People, most people that have uh, 14 versus 16. I think this 16 is it's not huge, it's, it's like smaller than my 2012, so it's okay. Uh, but I guess most people don't need such powerful machines, so the 14 is good enough, even for portability. Uh, this guy is it's a bit heavier than, uh, than the... 2012 on this game but uh, for me it's fine uh, so uh, it looks like more a workstation type of laptop uh, which is feels good so for now everything all right I'm going to share some links where I uh, where I am going to buy some uh, accessories for the max I'm, I'm waiting for a Thunderbolt 4 hub and a few other accessories to <coughs> to improve my office space since like everybody I'm working from home 
Uh, so I'll put the links in the description and the next video I'll share uh, the Thunderbolt hub that uh, hopefully I'll receive uh, soon and uh, my experience and probably I'll do some videos on uh, development and these other things okay uh, thank you very much subscribe to the channel if you like it put a like share and subscribe and if you have any comments or suggestions or anything like that uh, for the channel and for the videos that I'm making just leave a, a comment and uh, I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can thank you very much and ciao bye